So there's a recent paper in Science, it was published about a month ago. When I first saw it, I didn't really understand what it was about. But when I understood it, which was reading a simpler explanation in another magazine and then coming back to it, it's really fascinating. And I want to tell you about it. It begins with a really rather boring reaction, which tells people quite a bit about how atoms react. So imagine a molecule of H2, which has two hydrogen atoms bonded together. And they bring up another atom, comes in and bangs into it, and this hydrogen atom flies away. So it's H plus H2 goes to H2 plus H. What they wanted to do in this paper was to study the effect of using different isotopes of hydrogen which have different weights. And you can get deuterium atoms which weighs twice as much. And if you want radioactives you can get tritium atom which weighs three times as much as a hydrogen atom so you can have a bigger one that comes along, boom, like that. The problem is that if you want to have a heavier atom still, say helium, helium can't react. Let me explain to you why. In the middle of an atom of hydrogen, there's a nucleus which has an electron going round it. And so each of these hydrogen atoms has one electron which bond together. And if another hydrogen comes along with one electron, they can swap partners and this one goes off with its one electron. Helium has two electrons going round it. So when helium comes along with its two electrons, it can't displace hydrogen because two electrons are coming in and only one is going out. And this is where they did a really clever experiment, the authors of this paper. They disguised helium so it became like hydrogen. And before I read this paper, I would have said that's impossible. But let me explain. They used a particle called a muon, a negative muon, which is a different sort of particle, a bit like an electron, has the same charge, but is much heavier. So in a new particle accelerator, you can accelerate muons and they will hit helium atoms and knock out one of the electrons and take its place. So then you have a nucleus, one muon and one electron. But because the muon is very heavy, it's very close to the nucleus, leaving the electron much further out. So when the hydrogen bangs into it, this one leaves and you have a molecule which has helium with muon and hydrogen. And I would never have believed such a reaction could take place. And that's what made me excited. Again and again, for scientists, if they hear something surprising that makes them think in a different way, it's really good. Your mind is a bit like soup, it has to be stirred up all the time. And then interesting vegetables float to the surface and so on, and you have new ideas. If you just sit there, it all stagnates and gets boring. They have a strange symbol in this paper, they call it hydrogen 4.1 which is quite a strange notation. I've never seen it before. It's a molecule that nobody's ever made before and it will only be stable for some minute fraction of a second, but it's long enough to do the measurement of the rate of the reaction and test the theories of how atoms react. 